Uh, welcome back to this week's episode of uh, of uh, Ubuntu BSD Unix FL. Uh, this uh, episode uh, we'll be looking uh, at a couple of issues, but first off, we'll start with comments uh, that have been left uh, in the uh, in the space below. Uh, there is only one comment, uh, seeing how popular the show is. You know, uh, and um, the person uh, I, I tried to sort of uh, use uh, his uh, channel ID that 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 comes with the signature. Went back to his channel, found out uh, that uh, so I think he's from Corsica or uh, around that area there, and that he is some form of gamer. But there is nothing on his channel or even in his blog to really identify him, so uh, we'll just call him uh, Mr. Unknown. He seemed to be uh, quite insistent that uh, I was all wrong about the history of uh, Linux, Unix, and BSD, uh, but uh, he suggested I go look it up on the internet, and I did, and I found several different versions, including including versions of the history that included mine. What I particularly lo noticed, and, and this is uh, something that confirms along mine, is that a lot of it had to do, had to do with, and has to do with, how much you're aware of what was actually going on in computer science and physics. If you were aware of what was going on in computer science and physics, you would understand how Linux, BSD, uh, Mac OS, and Linux were all linked together and form one uh, a, a, a sphere of computing that, that is separate from the Windows environment. And actually, there 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 are more environments than just the uh, uh, the the Linux USB you know that group, uh, and they call it flavors of Unix of Unix, uh, and and the uh, Windows environment. There's not just two environments. There's actually more environments that depending on the actual processor that, that you're using. So, it, but these are the two primary ones that most people know, uh, and so uh, I'm not going to go into the history right now because it is a, a rather large topic. Rather, what I'll do is um, thank uh, Mr. Korsika, uh, uh or whatever his name is. Uh, I'll thank him for his comments, and what I'll do is I'll start working on, on a documentary on the history of uh, computer science, particularly the, the, the looking uh, from the 1960s forward, uh, to show how the two main uh, operating systems that we're, we're, we're aware of today uh, actually started coming, uh, sort of came from, from the environment that, that sort of spread there. This is sort of, will be a look into Silicon Valley, look into uh, who BSD really is, and I think you'll be surprised to find if you uh, find out who BSD really is. Uh, they are connected with the uh, military industrial complex that's connected to Area 51. They are connected to uh, Los Alamos and the atomic bomb project. Uh, they have a significant uh, place in computer science and uh, physics and astronomy history. They, they, they are really uh, uh, central to a lot of things. Uh, even though I did, when I was first looking at BSD, I didn't realize who they were until I started really looking in the background and began to say, oh, this is who they are. Uh, that, uh, but I'm going to leave that to... Um, uh, a history program that I will create for Physics TV uh, that m I could get to doing that. Uh, let's see, February. Let's say we'll aim for an April frame, tr uh, an April frame, uh, an April uh, time frame. April right around there. We'll aim for that. So. Uh, Questions that they come up with the history of, sort of the argument of the evolution of, of Unix and Linux, uh, I'll leave to uh, the Physics TV channel shows. This is going to go 
uh, sort of going to follow my path into Linux development uh, so that you get a developer's perspective uh, on Linux itself. As I stated earlier, uh, I'm going to approach, take the approach in this show, uh, and you'll see Unix through a developer's eyes. Uh, I am not going to make this into another review show. So, that being the case, uh, I need to explain to you that I am not a coder. I'm not coming at this from the coder's perspective. I'm a scientist. Uh, my primary area is astron astronomy and physics. And because along the way I decided I wanted to build a uh, um, a uh, Android-like uh, data from Star Trek the Next Generation, uh, it eventually uh, evolved into including uh, Cybernetics and cyborgs. That's uh, that, that's a, an area of computer science involving uh, artificial intelligence. Most of the time, for most of the time I've spent over the last few years, uh, has been on the theoretical side of artificial artificial intelligence. Uh, I've done some coding, but not a lot. Just sort of test pieces. Now I'm ready to stand, get into uh, things a lot more, so uh, I'm, build, I'm building my environment out uh, from a Linux platform. That was the decision to make is to uh, build everything on the Linux platform, primarily because uh, I get all my, all my machines are refurbished and Linux uh, lends itself to an enormous amount of customization. So that was the choice when I chose when I chose Linux.